Hey guys, it's Tessa and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're here today because we're going to be making homemade bread bowls. There's no better way to serve soup than in a homemade crusty bread bowl and they're actually super easy to make. So if you'd like to learn how to make homemade bread bowls, then just keep watching. All right, to get started with my homemade bread bowl dough, I have two and a half cups of warm water and make sure it's just warm. If it's too hot, it'll kill the yeast. I'm also adding four and a half teaspoons or two packets of instant yeast, a tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm going to add about half of my flour here just to mix it in to get the dough kind of started coming together. And I'm actually using bread flour for this recipe, about half bread flour, half all-purpose flour. And the reason for the bread flour is it's going to help give these bread bowls a nice, uh, tall, firm structure, which is exactly what we want, because we want to make sure that these don't flatten whatsoever while they're baking. Otherwise, they'll basically just be giant hamburger buns. We want to make sure that they get nice and tall, and the bread flour helps the dough form really strong gluten strands, and that's what's going to help it give a nice sturdy shape. So I've just added the rest of my flour mixture gradually, and now I'm adding two teaspoons of salt. And the reason I added the salt at the end is because salt can prohibit the yeast from developing in the dough. And since the yeast development is so important in this recipe, because we really don't want to have flat uh, bread bowls, I added the, the salt in last so it wouldn't uh, kill any of the yeast off. Usually I don't really worry about it, but for this recipe I want to make really sure that these bread bowls are as tall and beautiful as possible. So I've just kneaded the dough in my stand mixer. You can also do it by hand if you'd like until it's nice and soft and smooth, about five minutes. And I'm placing it in an oil bowl, just giving it a quick roll around in the oil and covering with a damp cloth. I'm gonna let it rise until doubled in size, about 40 minutes. Once it's doubled in size, I'm just going to press down on it slightly to gently deflate it. And then we're gonna go ahead and divide the dough into six portions. And this recipe makes six large bread bowls. These are perfectly sized for a generous serving of soup and you get that nice kind of slightly soggy but crusty on the outside bread that you can eat as you enjoy your soup. So I'm using a bench scraper to cut my dough into six portions and I'm trying to make them as equal as possible but it's not the end of the world if they're not perfectly shaped. So I'm going to take each portion and pinch towards the bottom of the dough. So I'm kind of pinching the dough, bringing the dough around to the bottom and creating a nice, tight, smooth ball. And we want to make sure the balls are really nice and tight because again, that's what's going to help keep the bread bowls nice and round. So after I've kind of pinched the bottom together, I'm just gonna roll around on the counter to seal and then place it on a greased baking sheet. And I'm going to do that with all of my portions. Once they're all portioned out, I'm just going to slash the top with a sharp knife. This is going to help let them kind of blossom into a beautiful round shape. Cover with that damp cloth again and let rise until doubled in size about 30 minutes. Before these go into the oven, I'm brushing the bread all over with one egg white combined with a tablespoon of water. And this will help the bread bowls get nice and shiny and golden. And they're going into a 400 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes, but to get them really nice and crisp and to make sure they don't deflate, I actually have a broiler pan in another shelf on my oven and I'm pouring one cup of hot tap water into that broiler tray. Hopefully you won't spill a little like I did and closing the door. And that's going to create steam, which is going to help my bread doughs, my bread bowls rise and get a nice beautiful round shape. So this is what they should look like when they're all done. You let them cool completely, and then we're gonna cut out the center to make the bowl shape. So I'm just using a little paring knife here to make a round incision in the top of the bread bowl. And I'm going to pull out all of the, the center uh, bread in the middle. And you can actually make breadcrumbs from the crumbs if you'd like to save that extra bread. So feel free to make as deep as you like. As you can see, I got quite a bit out there, but I'm gonna yank the rest of it out just with my finger to make sure that we have a nice deep bowl and we can fit lots of soup inside. 
and make sure that you use kind of a more creamy soup because anything that's too watery will just soak through really quickly. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you make this recipe, don't forget to tag me in a photo on Instagram. I love to see the recipes you guys make. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time with another food video.